Leviticus 11 verse 20 talks about all flying insects that walk on all fours are to be detestable to you. There are some winged creatures that fly on all fours you may eat, the ones that have jointed legs or hopping on the ground like the locust, the cricket, grasshopper, things like that. And he says, well, that's clearly wrong. The Bible's con uh, in contradiction because locusts do not have four legs. They're insects, so they have six legs. Well, I just pulled up a picture of a locust here on my screen to check out. And let me see here. Okay, I am seeing six appendages there. Yep. But uh, if you notice, how many does it walk on? Mm. It walks on four legs. Now, it's got two big giant legs in the back, and those are used for jumping. That's right. But the ones that it actually walks on are the four. Yes. It's got four legs. I think the Bible is accurate here, exactly what it's saying. You'll even notice sometimes uh, they'll talk about the spider who take it hold with their hands, and you'll notice spiders don't, I mean, I know we say eight legs, which yep. is what they got, but they really use the front two as their hands. That's right. But it's all idiomatic as well, isn't it? And that's absolutely right. You can see from the picture at that point, but you've also got an idiom that it was a he Hebrew idiom to say something is walking on all fours. didn't necessarily mean a four. It's saying they walk on all fours. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, we will never get tired of saying we believe God's word is absolutely true right. and scientifically accurate from the very beginning, and that can be defended. The only reason you would refuse to accept that is if you don't want to accept that. Mm -hmm.